If you try to join a Windows 11 client device to become part of a domain controller and you receive the following error message which says an Active Directory an Active Directory domain controller for the domain, your domain name could not be contacted. There are several reasons why you, sh you should be receiving this error message. So if I click OK and here you can see I actually want to join this Windows 11 device to become a part of a domain controller, I receive the error message. So if I go to my CMD and I just enter, let me open the CMD. And I enter the following. If I try to ping the DC01, so let's go to our domain controller. You can see the domain controller is on. And here is, let's, let me show you the name to show that I'm actually entering the right name. So here is the domain name, which is calvglobalict.com. That's the DC01. And that is the IP address. So if I go to and try to ping DC, oh, let me see, ping DC01, here you can see it is reachable. And if I ping the IP address, I think it's 1.149, and you can see that it's actually reachable. So why am I not able to reach that device? So this is actually a test environment. This could also be happening in the production environment. The issue is the following. If I, oh, let me go, oh, let me just open my command prompt again. So if I do a ipconfig slash all, here you can see the detailed information of my device. So the, my problem here, the problem here is that this device, Windows 11, is missing the DNS address of my um, domain server. So what I need to do is the following. So if I open Control Panel, and I go to, let me go to the, let me see, Network and Sharing Center, and then I click my Internet, and here you can see I actually configured a static IP address. So what we need to do in this environment, if you are working in an um, in an enterprise environment, definitely this will be configured using a DSCP server. So we need to enter the the um, IP address of our domain server, and then the DNS, which is the IP address of our domain server, is going to be part of the DNS address of our client operating system. And here we can now enter the let me see the dns address which was actually allocated to this device here so i'm going to close that for now and i'm going to close that so if i try again and write down if i do the following you can see that the ip address is now included as well we now have two ip a dns server address so if i click ok right now you can see that it's giving me the option to actually um, enter my user's name and password. So I will now say enter the domain name of that server and then hit OK. Let's just wait for some seconds. Here we go. It says welcome to the Kelv Global ICT domain. And if I go to my domain controller here, let me go to Active Directory Users and Computers. I think if we go to our computers here, you can see our device, which is the W01, which is this device. You can see that the W01 has just been joined to that. And we need to restart our device. So that is how you actually fix that issue of your device not um, enrolling or joining to your domain server. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please, if you're having any issue concerning client operating system or Windows servers, Microsoft Intune, Office 365, please, you can always send, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. And also, if you are trying to become an ICT system administrator or IT service desk engineer and you need someone to mentor you to become the expert in IT professional, in IT, in IT profession, please don't forget to contact me. I can always be of good guide to you. I can mentor you to become an IT system administrator. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.